Happy time zone, everyone. My name is Ivory Snow Plays, and I hope you are having an amazing day. Welcome to Sunday Reset, where we just do a little role play, and I just, you know, show you guys how I like to unwind or get started for the coming week on Second Life, and it's been a while. It's, it's been a very long while. And I'm just, you know, glad to glad to be here, glad that you're here, and I hope we can have a good time together today. Uh, first and foremost, I do want to say thank you so much to a very, very amazing brand, New Earth, who did send me some things and sent me some things while I was away. So I, I do want to say thank you so much to New Earth. And um, while I don't have anything out because my house is completely empty, next Sunday we'll definitely be going through those things. So I just wanted to get that out the way, firstly. Secondly, look at this horse, look at this horse, look at this horse. Um, so you guys, if you are, you know, in my, my Twitch, if you come to my Twitch streams, you would know that I love horses but only online um and from far away in real life <laughs> like, <laughs> i like horses but you know don't don't get too close to me horsey yeah, i'm very scared of a lot of things um so because i do love horses and i love red dead redemption role play and i just i love horses and farming role play i decided to move to a new community and this community is called Brer Wood estates now I'm not going to do a tour today because I don't really know too much about where I live. This place is huge, uh, very huge. For me. I think you guys can hear me, <laughs> but as I was saying, uh, yeah, this place is very huge and I am not going to pretend to be some type of tour guide expert, uh, but I will have the link in the description to where I live. Uh, and this community is very horse girl friendly and I have my horse here, Sanaya. I do not have Dakota and Devante here with me today because I'm just moving in and you know it's it's a lot going on but um so to start off the sunday reset i just want to give you guys like a ride on my horse and oh look at that bounce all that shit there's a hey, okay sorry um i'm very beyonce um obsessed so this is where i live and i live next to like some shops i have one neighbor across from me Mm, I got neighbors down the street. I don't know them people though. They live they live down the street. Uh, but I have this whole beautiful area as my home. Let's get into it. All right, so this is my house right here. Sorry, I suddenly have to cough. <laughs> so this is my new home that I'm going to be staying in now that I have returned to Second Life. I do want to get into like the specifics of why I was away. I think a lot of you guys, if you've seen one of my last vlogs, you already know. Um, but I'm back now and I just love my home so much. So let's go ahead and put Sanaya up. Let's see. Oh, Sanaya girl. Sorry, guys. Um, I really don't know too much like 
with her yet. She's she's just a baby. Happy time zone, Camaro. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. Thank you guys for tapping the hearts on the stream. I do appreciate it. Um, so this is the entryway of my home, and my home is uh, 850 linden for, I want to say I have like 450 prims, which is not bad, and I really don't need too much. I don't need too much, um, and I know what you guys are thinking. Damn, this girl always getting a new house and moving, and you're right. You're, you're absolutely right. I am. <laughs> I am, and... You know what? I'm never going to change. That's that's always going to be me. Um, so, oh, let me fix my neck. Hold on. Same here, and I'm glad to hear you're well. Uh, let me fix my neck. Hold up. And let me put my AO on. Yes, I love this cozy home, Camaro. Oh, my goodness. It's the perfect size for me as well. I don't need anything big i don't need you know all of the extra i i just i need somewhere so that i'm not going to no safe hub you know what i mean <laughs> like i don't want to log in and you know it's um it's scary i don't want to experience that again um so let me take you guys back to the front of my home right listen I feel like these days, I want to play some of that Ya Ya by Beyonce. Cowboy Carter is such a good album. I will never not stand. Y'all know I'm a horse girl at heart. So this is the front entryway to my home. And I just feel like it's very, very pretty. It's very cozy. And thankfully, this is all pre-decorated. And that's one of my favorite things that I enjoy about Brerwood Estates is that they have really, really breathtaking landscaping. And, you know, you're not getting charged an arm and a leg to live at a pretty landscape place. <laughs> so <laughs> that's one thing. Um, so some of you might be familiar with this home. Uh, this is an Ansu home. So over here is where I'm going to start setting up my living room area. And then on the other side over here... I'll do like, you know, a kitchen, dining space, something small, because it's just me and the bot babies. I don't need anything real big. You're a cowboy at heart. Ooh, perfect. You love your boots and hat. You have a horse too. Oh, Camaro, we have to go horse riding one day. Or like somebody has to host a horse riding event. <laughs> like, I, I would love it. Uh, this is going to be my bedroom where no magic will happen because i don't get down like that i'm you know i'm 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 celibate in second life i don't do none of that stuff but you know the magic will be me me and my pixel rose toy <laughs> and then this will be the bathroom um i'll definitely set up like my laundry in here but no i will be so down for like a horse riding adventure for sure all right and then here is where we're gonna start setting up the nursery amy hello happy time zone i hope you're having a good one welcome on in all right so let's go this way i want to show you guys my backyard which i'm really excited for oh my goodness my camera all right, let me check on Sanaya. She's good. Okay, she's good. My horse is so pretty. Like, this cob. Oh, look at her. She's just really so cute. I can't wait to get, like, a saddle for her, some reins. I love Sanaya so much, and she's not even a real horse. <laughs> uh, so I also have this space here for a yard. I'm going to set up a... There's a baby. Yeah, I have two bot babies. I have um, Dakota and Devante. Dakota's more toddler. Like, she's a toddler. Um, but Devante is age baby. Um, so let me take you guys. We're going to do a first person view. Uh, so let's say goodbye to Sanaya. And then let me take you guys down to my waterfront area, which I'll have the ability to decorate down here. So I'm going to set up like a nice, maybe like fishing spot, maybe like a, like a nice patio, not patio, 
uh, it wouldn't be patio furniture, because girl doesn't say no patio. Some nice lakeside furniture, you know, maybe like a nice little grill, like something. So I can do my My Story fishing, because I do want to get back into My Story. And then I just have this beautiful view. Beautiful, beautiful view. I love it. So let's go back up here. Now I wanted to just maybe like take a short horse ride and you know, we could talk about breaks um, cause you guys know I've been away. So we could talk about the break and just, you know, all of the things, all of the things. What is wrong with my camera right now? <laughs> what is wrong with, okay. Um, I didn't even know Black Dragon could do this. It's like I'm in a free cam mode right now. Um, I'm scared. How did I do this? <laughs> oh no, Amy, the, the family been expanded. <laughs> this is never getting expanded again. Um, what did I do? How did I enter this mode? It's like I'm stuck in, oh, I press, oh, okay. Um, what did I do? It's like stuck in this mouse look mode. We'll just walk anyway, whatever, forget it. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Uh, let's get on Sanaya. Oh my, it's like stuck. Hmm. Okay, I fixed it. I was scared there for a little bit. I don't know what I did, but it was like some freaky, um, camera mode but I kind of liked it <laughs> so let's just take a horse ride and I'm gonna show you guys a bit of my neighborhood Ooh, back up the other way and I just want to talk about I don't want to get too heavy because I mean I feel like it's really self-explanatory we all know what occurred we all know the outcome but I just want to talk about you know the break for me Sanaya can you jump there are we stuck Come on, sweet honey bucking. There we go. Uh, so yeah, so I did take a break um, per my last video. Just want to take a little horse ride. Uh, no, Amy, this is Brerwood Estates. Let me get the floral. I believe this is a newer community as well. This place is beautiful. All right. Let's see here. And uh, you know, I took the break. Oh my gosh, Sanaya, not not too much. <laughs> I took the break because for me, I won outside of everything. I think I just needed the break. Um and if you guys aren't aware of the Sunday reset, we're just gonna do a little bit of chatting and then we'll start putting some um, some stuff out in the house. Why is it so... Okay, there we go. Oh, this house is gorgeous. Oh, these, these people got money. They got a driveway. I don't have a driveway. I just have a place to hitch my horse. I'm just gonna peep in your backyard, neighbors. I don't know who you are, but this house is gorgeous. Oh, yes. Um, okay, so I, I think I just needed a break in general, honestly. Um, I think I was feeling already before everything happened, I was just kind of feeling burnt out. Um, I'm very prone to burnout. I'm very ADHD and uh, I think that 
you know, prior to everything that was happening, I was telling my friends this, you know, before too, behind the scenes, but I think I was just getting a little bit burnt out. And then when everything happened, like, you know, all of the, the talk, the talk of the, the Second Life Streets, when that happened, the accusations, I was like, you know what, this just makes it, you know, that was just like a nail in the coffin for me. And I think that the break just actually helped me, um, one, feel less burnt out. And then two, I was very, very firm then. And I'm very firm now that personally for me, I just, you know, didn't, I didn't want to be associated or I, like, I didn't feel right doing anything for the platform especially with you know how severe things were and um the uncertainty so you know i did what was best for me and i know there are a lot of people who did what was best for them where your mom at where's your mother oh my goodness sanaya i hope they're okay anyway um so yeah, I, I know everybody had to do what was best for them at the time. And I feel comfortable coming back now because, you know, they did release a public statement. And I know that they said that, you know, there is an external investigation going on. So I said, well, you know, that makes me feel a little bit more confident. So I'm, I'm glad to be glad to be back because I have some friends that I like to spend time with here. Um, but you know, I'm still, still keeping my ear to the, to the streets so that I am informed. And I'm glad that, you know, Linden Lab is being really transparent, um, with what's going on now. Cause you know, before I felt like we were just all in the dark and, you know, no one knew what to do, what to think. So, um, yeah, so that's where I stand on that. Um, other than that, yeah, burnout was real. Burnout was very real. I was streaming on Twitch, but I do feel like streaming on Twitch is a lot different than, you know, YouTube, because I'm doing like Red Dead Redemption roleplay there, which, you know, you just, you just go by the seat of your hat with that. There's not a lot of like, um, thought that I put into it. Like I just get into character and roleplay. Um, so that also helped me push through the burnout as well but you know these days I've been feeling in really good spirits a lot less burnt out um, a lot more um, inspired and I think that's what I was missing as well I was missing inspiration so it, it feels nice to be inspired again it just feels like you know not a fresh start but like a new take on what I usually do Oh, this is someone's house. Okay, this house is beautiful. We're almost done our walk and talk. I don't know why Sanaya is running. There you go. I just, I'm gonna gallop. Hmm. All right, we've reached the dead end. Now, I am excited to be living here at Brer Brerwood Estates. I I don't know. I just wanted to live somewhere different. I wanted to find a place that was aligned with my interests. And, you know, I'm, I'm really into just like this horse girl life. I'm 10 toes down. <laughs> so uh, Masumi actually put me onto this community, I want to say maybe like two months ago. She told me about it and I had a place here before. It was much smaller than the one I have now. And you know, things worked out to where I was able to get this home and I'm so happy. How do I get out of this, this part of my neighborhood? Like, how do I get out of this area? Do I need to go through the tunnel? No. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll just cut it short here because I don't know how to get out my neighborhood. Like this, this place is huge. Um, let me see. Let me look at the map. Okay, so. And again, you can ride your horse all through this community. So I'm here. Okay. So I need to go this way? How do I get over there? Do I need a boat? 
<laughs> Do I need a boat to get over there? I have so many questions. Um, is there a bridge? Y'all, I'm feeling dumb. Okay, there's a forest. Um, yeah, this, uh, this community Camaro is beautiful. I used to live in a different part of it. But I really, really like the area I live in now. I just don't know how to leave my neighborhood. So we might just do my favorite thing where I just click on spots of the map and we visit it. But um, yeah, I feel I feel stuck. I don't know how to get out my neighborhood. Um, okay, this is the park, right? We went this way. What does this say? And I like this. Um, I like living here because I can take Dakota and Devante here and, you know, sit and chat with some friends there. But I don't, I don't know how to get out of my neighborhood. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I, I, feel, I feel, feel a little dumb right now because I'm like, okay, I know it's another row right here. But then this is another dead end. What is this? Not really feeling smart right now, but I'll I have to figure it out. Hmm. No, I'm just gonna pick up Sonaya and we're gonna map pop. I don't know how to get out of here, so let me just take her and then I'm gonna click on Oh, let me actually show you guys where I used to live. And then we'll get started with decorating my house. Um, I'm going to keep it very simple. Let me get out these people away because I don't live here no more. My bad. I'm just, I'm lost. Sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe one day I can, you know, ask if anybody would give us an official tour of this community. I think it's been a while since I've done like a sim tour but I don't want to do this community a disservice it is very beautiful but it is very big and all I know is to get on my horse and just you know <laughs> just get on my horse and go I don't know where I'm going but I be going places uh, I, I can't tell y'all where I be at I, I don't know where anything is but you know I just I just get on my little horse and ride around okay let me see here Just gonna give it a moment to law load in. All right, so this is the area that I used to live in. Now they also have like role play things that you can do with your Teagle horses. So I have a Teagle horse and I have a Teagle dog. Um, but yeah, this is my old house. Whoever has it now, you're so lucky. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, but that house was so cute. Uh, anyway, uh, they have like races. They have, you know, classes that train you on how to use your horse. Um, they have like rodeos, I believe. Like they have a lot of role play things to do with your horse. In addition to, you know, normal things that people in communities have. So I kind of want to get involved i don't know i'm a little shy but i kind of want to like try it out i'm just a little shy to try it but you know i i might have to i might have to pull up um and and do some horse classes they even have stables that you can rent like maybe you don't want a house here you just want to get a stable for your horse and they're like 250 linden a week so okay whenever everything loads just give it a minute we are currently on the Brerwoods sim. I just need to figure out, like, how do I get from here to here? You know what I mean? Like, how do I get from where I live to everything else? Hmm. Because I see how everything else is connected. I'm just, I don't know. But there's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12... 13, four, I think 13 or 14 sims. 
This place is very big, very, very big. <laughs> uh, beautiful, but very, very big. Again, I get lost, so I'm probably not the best tour guide. I kind of just want to show you guys like what our future Sunday resets are going to look like. It's getting very, you know, this ain't Texas, ain't no hold'em. But again, that's just me personally, what I'm into. Um, even if you pull up to my Twitch channel, like I'm doing a lot of Red Dead Redemption roleplay. So yeah, it's, it's what I like. I think over here they have people like farming or like stables or something like that. So yeah, it's a nice community. I wish it would load. I know if I got on Firestorm, it would load faster. So let me take this up right here. Is someone asking me if I'm a horse? No, no, I'm, oh, are they talking to me? Are they calling me pretty? Oh. Hi. I am not a horse, sorry. I am a human, but thank you. <laughs> sorry, I'm not a horse, uh, but I'm a stallion. Let me see. I'm going to log into Firestorm really quick. Bear with me one moment. Because I like to decorate in Firestorm, so. Okay. They asked me if I was a horse, like, <laughs> how am I, like, how do I respond to that? Am I a horse? Are you a horse? No. Am I supposed to be? <laughs> but yeah, let's relog so we can at least see better. Black Dragon is just, with my PC, Black Dragon and streaming does not go hand in hand a lot of the time. And I only like it for recording anyway, so... All right, re-logging into Firestorm. Yes, I want to delete these items. Yes. And I think with this house, I, I kind of want to try cottage core. And I'm thinking I want to do lots of um, florals, like lots of floral arrangements and keep the colors a bit on the like lighter end. Um, so like maybe rosy, like a rosy pink, a touch of green. Um, yeah, I kind of just want to be like very like cottage core. I don't know, don't judge me, but I just, I think that's going to be very cute for where I'm at right now. All right, Firestorm is loading. So let's get into this, let me see here. The only thing is I don't have a lot of cottage core furniture. I have a lot of like modern furniture. So, or like, I guess you'll call it like Scandinavian. Like, you know, Ikea like looking furniture in Second Life. I don't have a lot of, um, cottage core so I gotta figure out you know what I want to do with that as far as that goes but okay let's finish walking around Barbie my love hello how are you happy time zone and I mean honestly even in firestorm like this place is so daggone pretty like, hold on. Yes, hello, hello, how are you? But yeah, this place is beautiful. And I love how it's just like really different. Um, I think this is maybe like a stable place over here. Unless I'm breaking and entering. I could be breaking and entering. I never know. Um, 
One of these days I'm going to be at a role play community and I'm going to be breaking into an, a place and I'm probably going to get put in jail and I'm going to deserve it. <laughs> oh, is this a doggy daycare? <gasps> what? Okay, so when Sunday reset involves me taking the dog to doggy daycare, don't act shocked. <laughs> Do not act shocked. They have a doggy daycare. That is so cute. But yeah, there, oh my goodness, like there is so much to do, if, especially if you have like teagle pets, clearly. You'll break me out. Thank you, Barbie. I appreciate it. Agility training stuff. So I'm lost again. Um, I don't know how to get out of here. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna break the immersion and I'm just gonna run this way. I don't know where else to go. Oh, look at the little pooper scooper station. Oh my goodness, this is so sweet. I can't wait to bring my Teagle dog to doggy daycare. I need that role play in my life. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love this so much. Please reserve the total amount. Okay, so you can reserve your dog's daycare. I'm really excited to live here. I'm I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this neighborhood. Especially if again you want that whole like cottage core, <laughs> Sims 4, uh country living. You know, it, this is definitely it. I suit the blonde hair. Thank you. Shout out to Shallon who, you know, helped me do my hair. Um, let's just go over here real quick. I'm going to cam a little bit. Like they have this thing for your horse. I guess horses like swimming. Uh, yeah, you know, um, horse is about to take a swim. I, I don't know anything about that, <laughs> but they have that for your horses. And I definitely want to get involved with their, you know, uh, role play horse training and learning how to use your teagle horse because I don't know what I'm doing with Sanaya. Um, there's so many different things that you can do with your teagles. Uh, over here, we're getting to the stables and I think I might rent a stable. There's 250 linden a week. And I like it because, you know, I can take a walk or maybe like take a ride and I can, you know, get Sanaya at the stable and like come to the stable and brush her and all those things so like this person look at this look they got all the horse care and everything so yeah so uh, don't be shocked if you know sunday reset is me farming me at my horse stable you know me cooking and cleaning and spending time with dakota and Devonte. because that's just i'm i'm real cozy i'm i'm real cozy these days i'm good i'm chill on all the rah-rah i'm just I'm very comfortable and I am very comfortable here and you know it's affordable it's a great price point and it's beautifully decorated so I'm really satisfied with where I'm staying uh, so first of all um, I kind of want to hmm, I don't think I'm going to honestly do a kitchen no, I am going to do the kitchen. I don't think I'm going to give myself a room. I think I'm going to do one room for Dakota and one room for Devante and then set up a living room. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want a room <laughs> like I don't want to decorate a room for myself. I just want to have a room for the littles and um, a dining room, a kitchen and a living room. I could sleep in the living room. I don't need a bedroom um this doesn't have any room upstairs so i mean i could sleep here right like i could sleep in this little tiny room <laughs> but yeah i don't need a bedroom so i might just set up you know one room for dakota one room for Devante. let me see here so let's just get started with decorating um okay you guys can see my mouse thank you oh barbie i'm in love with this like it's beautiful i don't know what the store is right here though and i still don't know how to get out my neighborhood 
unless they're working on it and maybe I'm not tripping and you know it's still being worked out with some connection hmm let's see here oh there's a movie theater okay perfect I live next to a park there's a cafe a movie theater so there's a lot of like fun spots for me to come and role play um so first I'm gonna start setting up Devante's nursery that is my lullaby that is the younger one and his auntie rare um who was on a very long forever vacation <laughs> uh she got him this really cute nursery by pink and blue and he has the let me see this is dakota's this is dakota's bedroom which is very cute. And then to Devante's is, which one? Pink and blue. Oh, he has the safari. So we're gonna turn his bedroom into a little safari. Yeah, Rare's on a very, very long vacation. <laughs> far, far away, her and Ellie. Um, so this is, you know, what we're working with. I'm not gonna use everything because Prims, but I definitely gonna use the chair. He doesn't need the, the little activity table. Um, I'm gonna try to get in as much as this as I can. I might mix and match it with other things. But yeah, let's let's get started. Oh, where did it just go? Okay, so I'm gonna press control three so that I can be in edit mode. That's like a hotkey that brings up um, you know, where you can drag and drop stuff in Second Life, and I'm gonna start dragging things out. So there is the nursing chair. And my last home, I found like um, a roller set, like a painting set, where I can like do it to where it looks like I'm actually decorating the room. So <laughs> don't act shocked if y'all, you know, see it decorated, but you know, days later um, maybe on Instagram or on a, a YouTube short you know I'm, I'm faking like I'm just decorating it you know I, I might just make everything invisible and <laughs> to a, a house moving in vlog don't don't judge me can we see here this is a play mat low impact thing only mesh things I'm glad though um, I think it's long overdue that, you know, Linden Lab get Second Life up to date with, you know, 2024 and, you know, work on some of those things. So I think them doing that land and pack improvement for mesh is really good, especially since a lot of creators just be making high poly shit that just anyway i already said too much <laughs> i already said too much but you know a lot of people be be putting high poly shit in the game and you wonder why it's like a thousand prims because they don't know they don't know anyway uh so i definitely want to get like a nice rug in here i'm not sure what color rug i don't even know if i have a rug for that but Wait, is my sister online? Let me see. Shallon. <gasps> she is! Shallon. Hello. My dear. I am streaming. But I am at my house if you would like to see it. <laughs> you're not moving you just nosy well you're welcome to stay at my place anytime um it's real nice though Kamara. i can't i'm not gonna hold them you know i've done the bougie communities i've done the traditional family communities now i'm i'm country i'm a country girl i'm living in a country Oh, this comes with the rug okay we'll use this Hi. 
All right, this is like the whole set put together. I'm a damn, I don't even gotta do nothing. <laughs> I could just drag and drop, it's like, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna decorate it. But you know, hypothetically, I don't really gotta do nothing for real. I could just, <laughs> but I, I am, I shall, I shall. Yeah, you know, we're all a little bit country. And it's so interesting to me because, you know, I grew up the furthest thing from being a country girl. I'm from New Jersey, you know, but it's just something about the country that I really like. I, I mean, I, I have been living in Arizona since 2015, so that might have something to do with it. But yeah, since I moved here, I just, I love it. actually like the better on this wall okay this is what we're gonna do let me grab this are these all separate country country yes yes that is the goal okay now, if you do need like a cute nursery for your little ones, lately I've been into like things that are fun, vibrant, colorful. And um, maybe like a month or two ago, about a month ago, a month and a half ago, me, Shallon and Rare were shopping and she took me to the store called Pink and Blue and oh they had the cutest stuff and this is where the set came from like i really like their bedroom sets because you know they're they're very fun and vibrant and i was like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna decorate their nurseries like this but you know their auntie rare had to be auntie rare she was like no 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 I got it so she got this for them and um, I'm glad I get to set it up and now whenever I come in here with them I'm just gonna be able to think about rare when I look at their nursery I don't know if I want to do this rug in the whole space I might make it smaller and put another rug um underneath it but i'll just leave it like this for now <clears throat> excuse me okay i also really like how this house isn't huge i don't have the capacity to decorate anything big right now i just i'm gonna keep it really small i think if i do decorate a house i'm just gonna finish my triangle home that I was working on. Um, I don't have, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't have the desire to live in a big giant house. Is this not, is this not made? Like, why is this made on an angle? Edit length. Part of this isn't straight, that's why. All right, I'm just straightening out the individual pieces of this curtain. It's like something is on an angle. Hmm. Interesting. One eighty. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm like feeling very congested. <clears throat> Better. Whew. Something feels like it's not straight. I know it's not the house. Is it the curtain that's made crooked? It is crooked. Okay. So 
So let me do 270, 180. I can't tell if that's in a straight line or not. Uh, <laughs> these curtains might be looking a little bit janky. I might replace them with a different set of curtains. I think I can, uh, yeah, I think I can do that. Let me see something. Sometimes when you're decorating, you just have to deconstruct things on your own. And, oh, <laughs> I don't know what was about to be popping up there. Anyway, um, you know how these uh, ads be a little freaky. Let me see. Harlem Mocha, hello. Happy time zone. Welcome on in. Uh, let's see, what is this? No, these are two. Hmm. Child, I don't know. Let me see. Okay. Now let me edit this. 180, 270, 270. How are you? How's your weekend going? I could do blinds. Yeah, I might, I don't know if I have them, um, but I could do blinds because it would match the theme. This should have fixed it. This should have fixed it. Let me see. If not, then I will put curtains on my to-do list. Okay, yeah, that did fix it. I'll probably go back in, um, add like a rod, a curtain rod, and then just put it on top for the added layer of realism, but I'm not going to do it right now, right? Oh, Devante's going to be so, so impressed. If only he wasn't a robot baby and a baby, <laughs> he would love this room. But no, I, I'm gonna be really, really happy with the way this is gonna turn out for sure. And I've never had it to where Dakota and Devante had their own nursery. I've always had them in the same nursery. Hmm, there's these little pieces, okay. All right, let me change my snap. I'm gonna change it to like 0 0.01. You see, cause I need to get it to snap. Oh, that's way too little. Let me change it to point 0.1. That's better. Because this curtain is in two separate pieces on each side, I'm gonna get it to snap to where it's in the same place, but it's not, um. It's lined up. There we go. Then I'm going to have to stretch this out. I 
I do enjoy decorating. I realized that, you know, in the, the Sims and Second Life, I really am just a fan of decorating stuff. And um, I kind of want to get the game, what is it, House Flipper? I really want to get that game. I don't own it, but... I like watching other people play and it always looks like a good time. So I, I, I need to get my hands on it. I'm gonna turn off the show highlight. That way I can see what I'm doing. How many, this is six, okay. Let me see something here. I'm gonna put this back on. The, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit length. I'm going to hit this because this square is nothing but a baked shadow texture. going to unlink it. Delete it. It's still six prims, but I feel like that was also crooked and I just didn't feel like fixing it. So <laughs> there's that. So this one is six prims. This one is... Oh yes, Camaro. Decorating is like therapeutic, really. They're both six prints. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway. Um You have House Flipper. It's so relaxing to demo and renovate a home. You got it on sale on Steam. First of all, happy times on Sonya. You have been missed. I hope you've been having a great weekend. And yeah, I think I might just get it full price. I've been waiting to see when it will go back on sale. But I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and buy it at cost at this point. Oh, hold on, y'all know this is my favorite song on Epidemic. So let me tell you guys, uh, last stream I said, oh, Epidemic's not worth the money. Epidemic, you know, I switched the press a rock. Girl, first of all, fuck press a rock. Cause I got about like 30, 11 um, <laughs> strikes on my last stream. And that's not getting monetized, which I mean, I'm, I'm a very micro nano size youtuber so it's whatever but i was like damn i can't even make five cent shit um so yeah fuck press a rock i'm just gonna stick with epidemic sound i'm gonna spend the extra like what is it five dollars whatever you win you win epidemic you're right you're so right you really are that girl um i did just need to retract that statement i had it here on a post-it note fuck press a rock um yeah anyway <laughs> back to what i was doing Back to what I was doing. Yeah, y'all can have the um, press of rock. That That's not for me. No, 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 no. All right. But yeah, this is my favorite song on this jazz playlist. So soothing. I need to see how many prints this is. So six, 12. 17, ooh, 20, ooh, 22, 30, 31. I only want to spend about 50 landing pack in here because I do want to do some more things outside. Uh, I'm over budget for Devontae's room and that's okay because he deserves. <laughs> So, I'll just have to use less prints elsewhere, I guess. Um, hmm. One second, excuse me. Oh, not <laughs> Here. Sorry, y'all. I went to roll the chair and I bumped into him. He's okay. Yeah, he's fine. You survived. You're okay. I'm sorry, Papa. I didn't see you right there.
All right, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm just like trying not to cough in y'all ear. So I went to grab the Stanley for my daily dose of lead. Whew. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so. Hmm. Looking at this, I'm not sure if I'm liking the layout of this, but I don't know, baby. This stuff is deaf. Okay, I see what I'm doing. I see what I'm doing wrong. No. Hmm. Eula, hello. Happy time zone. How's your day going? Also, guys, I've been up since like 4 a.m. On Sundays, I work very early. <laughs> um, so my mind might be a little bit loopy right now. Um, and that, that's that's okay. You know, it's it happens because I'm like why is this rotating like this and I forgot it's because some of these were crooked but it's okay I fixed it okay we'll put this here and let me make sure none of this is floating if you ever want to make sure that your prims aren't hovering, if it doesn't have the shadow texture, um, you just get up close and personal as you can with your camera. And then you can take these arrow keys here where it says position meters and you can just move it up or down. So this needs to be about like here. That's good. I'm telling you guys, when it comes to decorating, if you want to make sure you look like a professional or, I mean, you know, you don't have to care to look like a professional, but, you know, if you don't want to get clocked for being new, <laughs> you just make sure your stuff is not floating, not floating off the wall, not floating off the floor. Uh, so just don't be afraid to, you know, check the, um, check it, make sure it's not crooked. And you can do that right here. Just look at the rotations and... Just get up close and personal with your camera and make sure it's not floating off the wall. Damn, all this shit crooked. You're well, thank you for streaming. Of course, and you're doing good just eating some Talenti ice cream. Ooh. Oh, that is my favorite. That sounds delicious. <laughs> I might have to invite myself over to come get some Talenti. Oh. Okay, so right now, I, this is kind of all crooked and it's bothering me, like very badly. Um, I prefer for everything to be on perfect angle. So 0, 90, 270, 180. Um, Cause it just makes it, you know, easier to avoid anything being crooked. So right now I'm just snapping all of these items so that they are at 90 degrees. Of course, Barbie, of course. Um, when I first started Second Life, I had no understanding of um, that. Like everything was just floating all over the place and crooked, but not anymore. And you can also type in, like I know this needs to be 360 degrees, so now it's not crooked anymore. Same with this. This is crooked. Oopsie. Zane Gamer Queen, happy time zone. Welcome on in. I am actually feeling fabulous today. I am, um, oh. 
I'm excited to get started with decorating this house. Okay, now everything's not crooked. Or is it? 360. Girl! Oh, this is about to piss me off, for real. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, definitely. It's, I'm not getting pissed off. I know all the other small parts aren't crooked, so I'll just... Oh no, it still is crooked, okay. Let me see. That one's fine. I think this one is a little bit too far off the wall. Another thing that I'm gonna be doing more of besides, you know, Sunday resets is I'm trying to get back into creator life, knock on wood. Um, because I no longer have a premium plus membership and um, I don't really want to upload funds. So I gotta, I gotta make my own money. Um, I could take the shadows out, but just like earlier with the curtains, you can detach the shadow and it's still gonna have the same land impact. Um, Cause it, it's based off of the mesh weight. So, I mean, I could delete the shadows, but um, with an object, especially with this size, um, yeah, it's, it's in the, the shape of it, it's not gonna change the land impact, unfortunately. Oh, this is your first time catching a stream? Well, I'm glad. It's actually been a while since I've done a Second Life stream, so. I'm glad you were able to make it. Um, I'll do some Sundays live and then some will be vlogs. One, because I don't know about y'all, but I just love doing like my silly role play <laughs> vlogs. Like I just, I have a good time and I know it's just me laughing at myself being corny, but I be having a good old time. Um, I literally just wake up one day and it's just like, it would be funny if Sharon and I got into a fight. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, let's let's do that today. Um, yeah, sometimes I just wake up and choose violence. That's just, you know, that's just how I like to live my life. And um, I kind of have another one that I want to do next Sunday. So I don't think we'll do it live. <laughs> I'm not going to say what it is. I'm not going to spoil it. But I, I have a role play stream or a role play vlog up my sleeve. Um, I just, I don't know. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and some of you may know um, that Sharon has been recasted in the roleplay storyline. So I can't wait for you guys to meet the Sharon replacement for sure. All right, I'm looking for my changing table. Is it by, it might be this one. I think it matches just fine. Yeah. Match is good enough for me. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm glad Barbie I'm glad yeah I just had this random idea and I was like oh I gotta work on this this is yeah this has to happen um just you know pay pay me no mind I, I feel like sometimes people miss the fact that I'm just like role-playing and it's not serious <laughs> like I don't know what it is but I think um Sometimes people be thinking I'm dead ass when I do some of those like role play videos and it's just like, no, it's just, it's a joke. Me, like I, I don't take my second life. It's not that I don't take it seriously, but I guess I'm just not too, I don't know how to say this. Um, I'm just very lighthearted in my approach to second life. So I just love being able to do like, you know, those unserious role play videos. They're just too fun to me. The boy from what was funny. I'm glad you liked it. You love the vlogs. You watch real life vlogs. That's all are fun to watch. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I like to keep it lighthearted and unserious. Um, 
especially since, you know, these days my second life circle is uh, very small. And, um, you know, I just, I like to come on here, role play with my friends um, and keep it moving. But no, I, I think sometimes people be thinking I'm dead serious. And it's like, it's, you know, I, I guess they, they're not in on the joke. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't funny, which is probably true, but I just be having a good old time, honestly. Great acting skills. Why, thank you. I appreciate it, Barbie. I try. Okay. So, let's see here. I don't like this big space of this rug. I do want to make this smaller if I can. I'm gonna stretch both sides on this. Well, no, I'm not. I'm gonna actually unlink this because I don't need this. And I don't feel like dealing with it, so. There we go. Hmm. Oh, is there, my screen is about to get a little bit scary. Bear with me. Yes, the St. Texas ain't no hold them. But my screen is about to get a little bit scary. One second. Also, is there no... Hmm. Just looking at the transparencies here. I thought there was an invisible prim, but there isn't. Okay. So I have, um, I came back to sad news. The store Rooted that makes a lot of cute baby stuff that I have in my inventory, they close and I'm like, that's unfair. No, but I still have some things from them that I'm gonna use in this space. So I'm gonna put some of them out as well. I want to take this little elephant and I'm going to put it in the windowsill. Oh, goodness. But yeah, you I live in a whole entire horse girl community now as well. Um, I'm, I'm obsessed. I really am. <laughs> I really am. And you know what I blame? I blame ever buying the game Red Dead Redemption. I bought it years ago and I enjoy it. And yeah, I, I think when I initially bought the game and this is before I got into like Red Dead roleplay, I was very addicted to playing Red Dead. I will play with my friends. I will play with like a coworker <laughs> and then like the pandemic kid and uh, me and one friend of mine, we would play Red Dead like every day for hours. Like it was something. Um, but yeah, I, I blame Red Dead Redemption for turning me into a horse girl. And then, you know, I got into like Red Dead role play. So yeah, I'm 10 toes down into the horse life at this point. Did they close because of the article that shall not be named? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I think I saw, I'm nosy. I'm always looking on Second Life Facebook, but I don't really engage anymore. <laughs> like I just get on there to see what events, like what stores are on sale. And I was checking to see what they put out new, but I think they might be partaking in a new endeavor. So I'm excited to see what they do next because they're very talented. 
They're very, very talented. Okay, so I'm getting the bare bones of his room so far. Um, I don't need another five perm teddy bear with the balloon. I'm gonna put that away. But I do like the little monkey. I'm also gonna put this on the windowsill. Yeah, that article was something, and I was talking about that earlier. I'm only here back because I like the fact that they put out the statement and that there's going to be a continued external investigation. I had to reread it because the, uh, the follow-up from Linden Lab came out like two weeks ago. And when I first read it, I was like, oh, so... <laughs> basically okay and this is just me you know being real I was like oh so they asked you know that's like saying I asked my son did he do it and he said no so I believe him <laughs> and I was like well that don't sit well with me and then I reread it and I did see that they said they're gonna do a continued external investigation which made me feel better because I think when you know of course you know their accusations so we don't know until they investigate and we see what's going on uh, but it didn't sit right with me that they only did an internal one. But, you know, I had to reread their statement and there is going to be an external investigation underway, which makes me feel good. Okay, no shade pink and blue, but it, everything is a little, it's a little crooked. It's a little bit crooked. All right, so this is a nice rough draft. I kind of like the placement of the things. I think what I want to do is put like a plant, maybe put some nursery books here, uh, put like a shelf right here. I don't know if I have one, I might have one. And put some pictures on the wall over here and then eventually, you know, add some more things. Unfortunately, um, I do need to stress that I am in a community sim, so like I can't, I can't decorate this to the way that I would want to because, you know, you only have so many prims, which is why I, I definitely am going to put my horse in a stable. That way, you know, my teagle horse isn't taking up prims. You know what I could do? No, I'm not going to do that. This feels crooked. Yes, it did. It really did, you lit. And you know, I, I love that for me. <laughs> I love that for me. Um, all right, I'm gonna start adding other things from other stuff that I have let me see here you know a video I was watching why I was a few minutes late I don't know if anybody else has heard the clapping of cheeks from here near and far but I'm not gonna lie I think I watched that Megan the stallion video about 40 times today <laughs> I think I've seen <coughs> me coughing <clears throat> I've seen that Megan video like 40 times today <clears throat> and I'm not sorry about it at all Let me drink some more water. Whew. <clears throat> so much better. But yeah, I watched that Megan Thee Stallion video like 40 times. Like, 
Yeah, Megan made me cough just thinking about it. Just made me cough, cough out my confession. But no, I, uh, I'm pretty sure um, that the animators are about to get on their their big one and put together an animation for uh, Simmers and Second Lifers to get their twerk challenge on but um so, some of the challenges i see i was like damn some people really do be god's favorite but that video having like 2.2 .2 million likes and like a quarter of a hundred million views is like nuts it's nuts but yeah Yeah, I, I was watching it and I was like, oh my. And then I watched it again and then I watched it again. And then I went to go open Instagram for something and it was like, for whatever reason, the last video that I looked at on Instagram. So then I watched it again and I was like, wow, that Megan Thee Stallion, what won't she do? All right, I'm gonna replace the pictures in here. I don't know what my textures might be looking like baby shower oh june's baby shower oh me coda and Vonte. all right so if you ever have a picture and you want it to be vertical you just select face and then you go into texture and rotate it to wherever you need to rotate it and in this case, I'm going to have to move this over a little bit, stretch it out. No, I don't want to stretch it. I just want to move it. And then you can offset it to be where you need it to be. There we go. There we are. Yes, yes. I um I know some people like rotate and stretch it and it's like, you know, you could just select face and do it that way. You don't gotta do all the extra. All right, um, there's a lot more I can do in this nursery, but I'm trying to be mindful of my prims. Mm. <coughs> oh, not this. do have some of these like quirky planners from dust bunny that will go perfect in his room because they're animal planners and he has a safari room so i'll drop two of those um what is this the elephant the sloth i'll also do yeah the elephant and then let me see here I could probably do something with these. <coughs> now I'm gonna come back. This is just a rough draft. When I'm completely done decorating, I'm gonna do like a mini house tour so you can see how it all came together. But I definitely want to do something with the flooring in here. And um, let's see.
I just need to make sure that I'm not going over prims. I was like stuck thinking for a solid minute. Uh, my bad, I was deep in thought. Okay, this I like. This I like, let me just set it to like there. Now I'm covering up the family. Delete this and then I'm gonna grab this picture and put it like right here. I'm probably not gonna put these. I'm probably gonna get on like Pinterest and look up like cute animal safari pictures. I'm just using that as a placeholder. I'm gonna probably put this above the fireplace. That's your only complaint about living in a community sim is the prim count versus the rent price is always weird exactly i'm the same way but i have this thing where i refuse to pay over a thousand linden to be in a community sim um i've been doing community living on and off for a very long time and to me i just found that it's not worth it to pay that much um because, you know, community sims, they have their ebbs and flows, right? Like, you'll have bouts where it's busy, and then you'll have, like, periods where there's not a lot of people. And it's just like, I I just want something small. So if I can get a decent amount of prims for under a certain price, yeah, I'll live there. But um, it, it just, it really depends for me. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is copy the position of this and then I'm going to paste it onto this elephant one. And that's just gonna put it right where, well, it was supposed to put it right where it was at, but uh, there's something a little bit off with the root of these objects. Let me see. Close enough, close enough. I'm gonna delete the little bear and we will put the little elephant here. That's better. Uh oh, there we go. Okay. This is their ex. Oh, okay. Well, let me not put their business out there like that. Anyway, I see why. I see. Okay. Well, let me just continue to move this around. I see why it's like that. Got it. I still love the set. I just, I understand why it's a little bit, um, off scale. I don't know why I'm having beef with the rug. Maybe I'm still in my heart of hearts one of those um <laughs> sad beige moms, but I kind of just want to do like a neutral rug in here or like something like a rattan type of rug. I know it's not very nursery friendly, but you know what? It's, it's second life. We can make it work. 
I'm making it canon that Dakota and Devontae just have really strong baby feet and they could walk on that that nice wicker rug without a problem. What the fuck? Why is it not? Why would it get any lower? I'm so confused. Hmm. Oh, girl, boo. Let me see something. Um, so I'm trying to move the root prim of this because it is very much off. Um, so my screen is going to look a little bit scary right now. While I try to fix the position of this root prim because y'all not about to irk me with this so when you have like a prim that is following a root prim which is just basically like the parent object that's guiding everything else um sometimes you know it could get a little bit tricky but if you find that little transparent square and you put it where you need it. Let me get... Things get better. Uh, I don't know why that one was far off from the elephant, but we fixed it. And that's all that matters. So, let's see here. Now I can stretch this out. Perfect. There we go. Cause you wasn't finna play in my face like that. Okay. I fixed it. All right. And I'm gonna put this elephant, the plant on the windowsill next to the teddy bear. Yep, it was, it was the root prim. That root prim was very far off <laughs> for whatever reason. I don't know why it was like that, but we fixed it and that's all that matters. So it'd be like that sometimes. monkey is so cute <coughs> I'm not gonna use this one Probably put like a thing of baskets or something down there, but I'm gonna put the alarm clock here. Make sure it's not floating. Then I'm gonna rotate it like this. Move it back. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to move it. a little bit more and then I'm gonna put this giraffe planter down oh well <laughs> not me getting too much into the role play I'm thinking like well you know if this is a baby nursery do I want this planter down here but it's okay it's second life you know he's, he's not going to be able to get to the plant because he's a robot so I'm going to put this giraffe planter down here on the floor <laughs> at the bottom. That's the beauty of Second Life. Um, all plants are childproof because it's, it's a plant. All right. It's a plant that's a pixel. Okay. Just put this right there. Good, good, good. Okay. So... 
It's definitely looking like a miniature safari in here, which is the look that I was going for. Um, there's some more that I could do with like this space up in here, but I'm gonna leave this at where it's at for now. But I think this is a really good rough draft. Let me see something. I'm gonna stretch both sides on this. Thank you, Barbie. I appreciate it. But um, yeah, th that's the trick with being in a role play community it's like you want to get really nice and detailed but again you're you're limited so you just do what you can that's all i'm trying to get a little stylistic really quick but i might end up changing my mind um All right, just uh, uh, trust trust the process. Stay with me for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what this is about to look like, but you know, just 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 rock with me for a moment, if you will. This might turn out real ghetto fabulous, and that is fine, cause it's half the time that is my mo, cause that's just how I was raised. But you know, it's it's gonna be something. Just just keep with me for a moment, if you will. Let me see something. I could take these. Boom. Okay, maybe not with these. Oh wait, if I could, no, not with these. <laughs> I was trying to make the little stars fetch, but no, that ain't working. Um, edit link. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me see something here. Let me go back to edit link. Let's move this down. Let's move this here. Let's put this here. I don't want to do that. This is a work in progress. I'm definitely going to have to change this around. But I'm not mad at it. I'm not truly mad at it. But I definitely am going to have to work on it. Um, 
and I'm not gonna use <laughs> I'm not gonna use this picture over and over but I'm gonna find cute little like safari pictures to put in here um I don't know it's a question mark We're, I mean right now I like it I think that is different I, I think that's really different <laughs> but um I'll, I'll fix it up later for sure uh let me see here I don't know how I feel about the balloons. Let me see. K O T T E. All right, and then let me look up wicker, um, wicker basket, basket of books, wicker box, small basket. I feel like some wicker pieces would go nicely in here. Um, let me see. I actually like this better than the nursery chair. I'll probably have to put over a put a um, another chair over top of it so that can we can use those animations instead of those one I might have to end up putting the other chair out but I like this chair a lot better in this space and then I'm just gonna go ahead and edit link and then take the texture let me try to get like a green color Yeah, okay. And then I can put this thing of books. I think I have baby books in my inventory, but I'm not sure right now. So I'm just gonna use this for now. We could just pretend that they're a, a basket of baby books. No one has to know. Actually, I don't want that there. I might actually want this near the chair. You, Barbie I appreciate it um I'm just trying to trust the process <laughs> see how this little safari room turns out um
hate when plants clip out the window. Ooh, I don't want to make it bigger. I want to make it a little bit smaller. <coughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put that plant right now, but that that's good for for right now. All right, just gonna look for other stuff, and then I'm gonna move on from the nursery. Um, does this have animations? <laughs> it does okay um let's do the diaper pail and the diaper bag dispenser let's do the wipes and what else here yeah we'll do that by rooted I'm just gonna put this diaper pail right here this is floating a little bit and then I'm gonna put the wipes here might have to move this forward a little bit so it's not clipping but yeah, I'm really happy with my new neighborhood and my new place to stay. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have to set up like summer outfits for Dakota and Devante. Very soon. Whew. yeah I like this for a rough draft I'm gonna have to go through and like redefine some things and I'll probably end up moving a few things around but again I only have so many friends but to work with so I'm gonna do the best I can with what I got <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I like it for the amount of prints that I could use. I'm satisfied. I do like that better on that end. Yeah, so I'm happy with the nursery for sure. This is a good rough draft and I'm just gonna come back through and see what I can do with it. Do something with the floor, maybe add like a nice, let me see, rug, jute. Hmm. <coughs> Oh, you know what? Let me see what I have from Bijou. Another one of my favorite baby creators. Let's see here. It's for the living room. Stroller. Oh, the speaker this Miffy basket blocks train
wooden truck. I'm just putting out a few more things in this room, seeing if there's anything else I want to have in here. Oh, this is too cute. This is too stinking cute. Okay, let me see here. I think his nursery is shaping up to be just fine. I don't know what it is about the rug, but I'm just, I'm gonna have to find something. not this i'll figure it out but let's put some uh, stuffies right here i don't need this extra basket i'll just save the prims <coughs> Maybe I would like to see it like this, like, uh, I don't know. I don't like that either. Well, <laughs> zebra rug possibly. I think I might just want to do like a natural tone rug, maybe like, um, like a jute rug in here, especially since it's like safari. I think I might like that the best, but I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not feeling this rug. That is one prim, we'll do that one. And then let me put the soothing speaker. I'll put it on a windowsill. Oh yeah, green would ni look nice in here too. Okay. All right, so Devonte's room, good, good, good. Um, I'm gonna start putting some stuff out in the other areas. I did not anticipate for this to take almost this long, but yeah, Dust Bunny has a lot of nice rugs. Um, I have to, I have to sort through my inventory and see what I all have. Um, I'm just gonna start putting objects out, and let me see. Through the week, I'm gonna slowly try to decorate. Let me see here, collapse. And I'm so sorry, I'm so congested today. I don't know what is wrong with me. Well, allergies, I'm sure. Definitely allergies. <laughs> Definitely allergies for sure. Um, pink and blue. Sleeping bag. Oh, my tampons. All right. Let me see. Balloon bed. Cabinet. So this will be Dakota's room. Like I said, I don't need a room. I'm definitely fine without one. Where are these bubbles? You know, Dakota doesn't need a changing table like this, but you know who does? I think I might like this better in the other room. Hmm, I'm gonna put it in the hallway for now. Yeah, yeah, get into it. Hold on. Oh, not these all being individual pieces. Okay.
Yeah, I like this better for him. I don't think she needs this. You know, she should be on a potty. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not going to put this in her room. But I can put it in here. Perfect. Yeah, I like that a lot better in here for whatever reason. Then let me move the diaper pail this away. Okay, so this is a work in progress still, but I like it. I think that is, is, is different. <laughs> So let me finish throwing out Dakota stuff. I love this little balloon bed. Now, how is she supposed to get up here? Again, it's second life. We can do whatever we want, right? <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to think that hard, but let's just put this like over here somewhere. Now with her room in my old house, I was going to like section off an area. I don't like anything that does particles. I was gonna section off an area so that she could have like half of her room be a playroom and then the other half would be like a um, bedroom, but I don't have the space or the prims to do that in here. So I'm just gonna do what I can. Actually, she doesn't need the crib. I'm gonna put out a bed for her. Oh, I forgot it came with the tent. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is gonna be really cute when it's all done. I look at her own little hideaway. Stop, that's so cute. And I finally figured out with her HUD how to like make it to where she'll go and like run to her own items to play with so i can set you know different things for her to run around and interact with and she'll do it all on her own so it's going to be funny to see her like running from this toy to like this pillow and things like that i i have figured out a way to make the bot baby smarter yes yes i have um okay need this basket And she's still a lullabeeb avatar, but pretty soon I'm gonna end up aging her up to a. I'm gonna end up aging Dakota up. So I'm gonna put out her big girl toddler bed. I've been so reluctant to do it. Um, but yeah, I, I will be aging her up. I don't know. I might actually wanna put her bed on the other wall. Yeah. I do want to do that. Lola's World, hello, yeah. I'm decorating the nursery. I'm not even giving myself a bedroom in this community. I'm just gonna sleep in the living room. <laughs> That's gonna be a part of the role play too. Uh, Ivory Snow Plays has um, reduced her um her living conditions we gotta make a tmz tabloid about it <laughs> ivory snow has lost it all oh my goodness oh my gosh but yeah sorry like once i get really focused into decorating I, I get a little bit quiet so i do apologize for not being too chatty but i just get like hyper focused after a while and then i just like get tunnel vision so hopefully i didn't miss anything in the chat either um 
I'm gonna put her bed on this wall. And then I can give her like cute little nightstands. Let me move the stuffy. Move this out the way. Move this. Oh, I'm tripping for a minute. I thought I saw something with like 20 params. I was about to say, oh, hell no, girl. We're not doing that. Oh my goodness. I know she's just a little robot baby. Sorry, I had to unzip her myself. I know she's just a little robot baby, but like, y'all remember like ages ago when I had like the code of the Zuby baby and like, she was ball headed. Like I literally did that role play like storyline with her 10 years ago. And she's always been, you know, either a Zuby or like a Lullaby. And I'm just like, I don't know if I'm ready to like age her up. But I mean, in all in all honesty, you know, she she technically like old as hell. She's 10 years old. So <laughs> if we were being realistic with the role play, I would definitely be getting her a BB youth body. But I don't know about that. Um, but yeah, it's just like, oh my goodness. Like I'm actually going to age her up. That's so... That's so crazy because I never thought that I would do that, but I, I think I um I'm ready to have her like reach another stage. So we're gonna be doing that. The only thing though is like when it comes to the totally do avatars i'm just like there's so much i do not know about like where to shop as far as um skins and things go so i'm a little a little bit confused in that department i don't want her to look busted i don't want her to look ashy i don't want her to look you know crazy out here in these streets so that's another reason why i've been putting off aging her up as well I'm gonna have to stretch this one by one and I'm not doing that right now so okay we're gonna let this bed go because it's eight prims and <laughs> the room was only about so big so I'm not gonna do the bed I'm gonna rotate this a little bit more. I did say that I was gonna start throwing some things out and then go, right? I did say that. Apparently I'm a liar, cause. Y'all know what I could do? This is about to be really head ass sounding, but what I could do is, let me see something. Dakota's room, I'll be back for you, darling. Um, what I could do is, um, no, it's too small. I'm going to just like, um, oh, Oh, what's all this doing in here? I'm going to create a reser, like, so I can switch scenes, especially if I want to do a vlog. So what I'm going to end up doing is decorating the living room and decorating a bedroom and then putting them in a reser so that when I need it to be my bedroom, it can be my bedroom. And then when I need it to be my living room, it can be my living room. You feel me? Like, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta get creative a little bit. So I'm gonna make sure I can do that. And um, I will do that. I'm gonna have to look at the rules, you know, make sure I'm not, I'm not finessing the rules here at Brerwood. But yeah, cause I can like, I can do something. I don't know what I can do, but I can do something. Maybe I could do it with the kitchen. 
and like put a bed here and decorate it to look like my bedroom. And then when I need it to be the kitchen, boom, we're in action. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I'm ready to move on to putting some things out here. Let me see. Sorry, I was coughing again. <clears throat> Jesus. Okay, let me see. Masumi, guess where I live? Happy time zone. Guess where I live? Brerwood. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 I do. I live in Brerwood. I don't know if you remember when you told me not the rosary Royce, rose toy vibrator popping in, please. Don't embarrass me. Putting out some roses. Well, I mean, I had no choice but to move. I was kind of like, <laughs> you know, just what? I moved. Yes, the answer is yes. I I moved. Um. So yeah, I live here. I live here now. Let's see here. I want something that's a little bit more cottage core. <clears throat> yeah, I want something that's a little bit more cottage core than that. Um, yeah, girl, you was the one that told me about it. <laughs> the horse community with the horse classes and stuff like that. You, you was the one that told me about this child. I know about this community till you. Uh, sofa. Firm, firm, Yeah, I want something that's a little bit more. Let me go to Dust Bunny. I just know, or um, what you call it? Um, 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 half deer. Half plus. Dear, yeah, I want to. I want a whole cottage core, like outside of the nursery. I want everything to be like she was a fairy living in the tree breeze. Like that's that's kind of how I want the vibe to be in my home. Um, so I'm gonna go shopping because not that I don't like this stuff. I just want I want something different. Let me see. What is this, darling heart? <gasps> like yes heart dining chair oh my goodness yeah 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 i love it oh yeah i just need to find like a cute cutesy kitchen half deer fallen stars 
we're going to have fear. Please hold. Guys, we're teleporting. I'm going in show friends only because I don't want to see any booty cheeks, areolas, or any other body parts. So people like to show them in Second Life, but I don't like looking at them. Dreamland Designs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can also check out like Moss and Mink. Uh, Moss and Mink. Um, there's another store, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. That's going to have the cottage core. <laughs> oh, see? Yep. Yep. I don't know if I want the bunny. Actually, I don't mind the bunny, but like this. I have a cottage core bed, but this is cute too. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, the little cottage core coffee station. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love this bed too. Ooh. I love this vanity. I think that's what I'll do. I'll set up a riser so that it's either going to be my... <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm going to get pregnant so I can have a little baby. I never said that. We're Hold on. Hold on. Admit that. Uh, scrub it from the record. I never said that. I never said that. But if I had another little tiny baby girl, like a Zuby baby, oh, I would use this crib. This fuck. Yes, um, I'm no longer ever getting pregnant again, FYI. This will make a cute bathroom. I just need a shower. Yeah, I just kind of want the house to be like super feminine, like hyper feminine, girly, cottagecore, pinks, blues, like lots of pastels and light colors, a little rustic furniture. That's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. Um, Let me go to Moss and Make. Oh, I could get a little dog house for my um my dog. So it could sleep there when it's not at daycare. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna check out Moss and mink i was hoping to see something here but i think i think i'm thinking of a different store so it's not in here okay let me check out moss and make really quick You sent me a landmark. Thank you, Masumi. I'm gonna go there next. Um, we at the Moss and Mink. Period. Hmm. Let me go to the living room. Oh, it has a bed on sale? Yeah, I gotta check it out for sure. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Okay, this is what I'm going for right here. And you know what? Y'all might laugh at me in my overalls with my horse in my cottage core home. And you know what? You would be so valid for that. But I'm gonna be happy and I'm gonna be, be living my best cottage core life. And I'm really not gonna care. Like, either way <laughs> like, this, this this is all I want to do is just be a cottage core horse girl and get restarted on my my story uh, farm my little tiny my story farm and I'm gonna find me a nice pair of overalls too don't worry don't worry um where's the rest of their living room furniture could have sworn they had more I'm not worried about a bedroom set. Oh, I love these prints. 
Oh, yeah, those are cute. All right, let me go to the store Masumi sent me. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I really like this as well. I like the color pop. I like the the floral, like the the contrast of the orange and the pink. Like I like this a lot. Um, how much this is? $3.98. That's not bad. Is that for the whole set? 398 London? Hmm. Alright, let me see where Masumi sending me. Hello, Masumi, my niece. Thank you, my dear. I love you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Oh My. They have horses. I have a horse. Did you ever see my horse, Masumi? I don't think you've seen Sanai. Masumi, this don't got home stuff. Oh, I'm seeing body. Girl, you're grounded. <laughs> I see body parts. I don't see no look of furniture. Grounded. <laughs> Oh man, okay. Um, was that the wrong place? Girl, I saw, I saw Lahanna ass the titties. I was like, what's going on? That's not, <laughs> this ain't furniture. This is the booty club, but and they sell fashions. Um, let me look at my seagull horse. Um, so I have an Irish cob. Let me put Sanaya out. And then I have other stuff. Um, I kind of want to set up my horse area. I'm still on the fence. Okay, she's only 48 prims. That's not bad. Interactive hitching post. Um, teagle grain bin. Um, what is this? Teagle interactive hitch post. Um, then my corgi. No, I just went there and it was, um, I didn't see any furniture. Oh, you sent it to me. Yeah, this is Sinai. I was about to start setting up the horse area, um, and my farm. Because I'm going to have to go shopping and I don't feel like messing with Dakota's room. I think I use all my brain power for Devante's. Um, this is Devante's nursery. It's still a work in progress, but I'm really happy with it so far. I think it turned out nice, especially considering the amount of prims I can use. Just get the no copy version. The no copy version is not that expensive. Um, and it's like a Zuby baby. Like if anything happens or if it gets lost, you can reclaim it. Okay. Going to the store Masumi sent me to. Let's just all close our eyes. I'm going to make sure that there's no booty butt cheeks. Booty butt cheeks. Booty butt cheeks. Oh. My headphones were slipping. Oh, this is nice. I like this right here. That's cute. I like the curtain. Oh, this is nice. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, now this is exactly what I'm looking for, actually. This is cute. No, it's all right. We found it, we made it. Oh yeah, this store is definitely like cottage core haven right here. This is really cute. Let me make a landmark. Gotcha. I still don't understand how new gotchas work. I'm not even gonna pretend like I get it but it's literally the same thing it just tells you what's coming next like it's the same thing anyway i said too much <laughs> um i kind of like this i'm a landmark and then let me start getting um, Sanaya set up. So yeah, this is Sanaya. I need to get her like reins and things like that. But I also want to, oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> I opened something on my computer for a moment and I was like, can they see it? No, you can't see it. Um, and put down some planter boxes. I'm gonna put down the Hello Ivory planter in gray because I made it. It's my planter. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. Probably towards the front. Like right here. Maybe I can grow like strawberries. But I'm really looking forward to getting back into creating for sure, man. I, it's It's been a while. I love this planner so much. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, who made this? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I made it. Of course I like it. <laughs> of course I like it. And then let me get the strawberry. Um, where is it? Mm. Hmm, where is it? I don't want to use the my I had like a um, full perm strawberry. Hmm. All snacking. I miss typing. I hope typing's doing well. Oh, you know what? It's probably on Sharon's account. So yeah, I'm gonna put my strawberries there. And then let's put Sanai towards the water. to do this um T -E -G -E. okay 
I'm just trying to get her to her hitching post so I can hitch her up over there. Um, hmm. Come on tonight. Look at her. She's following me. Ah, I love it. Okay. I forget how to hitch her up though. Um, would it be here? No. Um, hmm. forget how to do this. Maybe I should read the note card, right? Maybe that would help me. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Instructions. To use the stitching post, your horse needs to be okay. To update your horse, okay. Resident installer, click install. Pick that horse up. Huh? Resident installer. Click the installer, accept one pop-up requesting permissions. Pick up that horse and click the installer again. On another, what? Continue to all your horse up in the stall. Okay, so I have to pick her up and then rest her back out. I'm confused, Teagle. Okay. Click on your horse to open the pop-up menu. Animations. Posing, interact. Oh, and she's just gonna go to her hitching pose. Ah, oh, I love it. Uh, Sanai, where are you going? Oh, it's backwards. Okay, that's my fault. Well, <laughs> well. Um, let me just let me just try this again. Hold on. Let me just, let me just rotate it. Just pretend you guys didn't see that. Um, okay. Let's try this again. Animations. Posing. Interact with this. She's stuck. So now I'm so sorry. You don't deserve this. Interact. Yes. Hitch. Interact. This. Oh, she's not doing it now. Let me see. Animations. Posing. Stop. Posing. Interact. With this. I think I confused her. Okay. There she goes. There we are. Okay. Let me just move this up, I guess. This poor horse. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, I'll put her there. And then let me put out some more planters. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna have a mini farm. I'm not gonna have a huge farm. You know, just something very modest okay Let's see
That's not what I wanted. Um, okay, I think I like these planners right here. Yeah, I like this size because I can put, you know, some different things in here. Again, I can't get too carried away. And then let me put my puppy out. Let me see. Let me put my little Kegel dog. It's so cute. But your name isn't Bangers. Why is your name Bangers? Who names a dog Bangers? Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me see. What is AI? Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Settings, hover text, name. How do I change their name? Oh, in my community, they have dog daycare. So maybe we can send our dogs to daycare together. I'm going to name my Teagle dog. Um, um, I'm going to name it. Kitty, you're so cute. Why is it still named Bangers? Let me re -res it. Okay, it's still named Bangers. All right, understandable. Oh, I change it an object. Okay. It's really nice. Like, really, really nice. Give it a minute and it will change, yeah. I just gotta wait, but yeah, this is my Corgi Kitty. And I'm gonna get some like interactive Teagle stuff for little kitties, my little farm dog Corgi. Um, but let's see, let me pick this up. I'm sorry, who names a dog Bangers? Miley Cyrus as dog. <laughs> like, hello? Anyway. Okay, I'm just setting up my, my little My Story farm. It's not going to be anything major, but it's something. Um, and let me, oh, before I forget, let me put out the, um, where is it? The Teagle Brain Bin. Oh, this is huge. <laughs> this is huge. Um, let me then put this. Wait, can I move this all down a little bit? Let me change this to 0.5. I'll move this like right here. And then move this about here.
then I'll put the grain bin. I'm gonna make it smaller. And then... Put it right here so little Sanai can get her food. And then yeah, we got the My Story Farm right here. It's perfect. Let me see. Just gonna get some dirt. I know I have like a dirt path somewhere. Dirt road brown. Um, let me see. Tough ground lakes. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm really excited to get back to like Sunday resets and. We'll do a little bit of farming. We can do, oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys noticed though in my um, <laughs> my roleplay vlog of when I got my first period. And um, I have like that whole system that allows your house to get dirty, which is so funny to me. But I'm actually gonna go set that up now in certain parts of the house. Okay, I got my little farm going. I'm not gonna put any like play area stuff for Dakota and Devante because we live around the corner for, from an entire park. So what I'm gonna do is put down like, let me see, some farm decor. Maybe I can put out like, I picked these like type of baskets, even though I didn't, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I know I have like a hoe. Fucking hoe ask bitch. Don't think that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Why is that in my inventory? Um, canopy gardening hoe. Mm, let me type in garden. Garden clutter, garden accessories, planter, soil and water, tool bag, and wooden caddy. What happened, Masumi? What's wrong? <laughs> what are we ooping for? What 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 happened? Oh yeah, we're not doing this. <laughs> Let me see. Maybe I have like a bench I can use. 
garden bench. That works. Where's the rest of the bench? <laughs> I don't know if we'll use this bench. Uh, I'm gonna look up rake. Um. Oh, yeah. I just I don't understand like why. <laughs> Who gave that to me? Fucking hoe ask bitch. Yeah, I do have the carrying HUD. Um, casket, drink set. You know, I'm just gonna leave the decor out for now. And come back for it. I'm gonna have to look through my inventory. Um, I am starting to get a little bit tired. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Like I said, I've been up since 4 a.m. But we got the garden rough draft. We got Sinai out. We got bangers, apparently. <laughs> got little bangers who's sleeping. Um, I'm gonna see what type of kitchen stuff I have before I go. I need like a small kitchen. Hmm. I need something tiny. Let me see. Cabinet sink. cabinet oh Zuby has the other interactive pets now too forgot about that hmm. island cooktop cabinet Hmm. I don't know about the. It's not that it's bad, but I don't know. I mean, it's small, but nah, it's not gonna work. That's a no for me, dog. I'm sorry. Kitchen. So no to this. big hmm I have to look at it some other time I don't know <laughs> we did a lot yeah I don't know if I'll have the space for a whole DBY kitchen, I might, I was going to buy it anyway, but, um, I have like a small intimate size kitchen. I just don't know where it's at. Cause I just want to put like the kitchen here and to put like a small table there. But I feel like, you know, we made some great progress so far. Uh, here's my living room slash bedroom. Here's my empty bathroom. Here's Devante's 80% finished nursery. The curtain is floating there. 
Um, here's Dakota's 50% finished bedroom. <laughs> and then we have the garden, which is pretty much almost done. I just need to find, you know, benches and things like that. And then we have my horse area. But yeah, I, I need a intimate size kitchen because it's pretty small. But yeah, I do want to say thank y'all so much. Oh, bed set. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get a pull out sofa. You know what? Fuck it. Listen, this is it for now. I don't really care. Um, we on the air mattress. <laughs> I want to say thank y'all so much for, um, Slash Me gets comfy on her air mattress. I want to say thank y'all for coming to hang out with me to decorate. It's been fun, um, to get back and decorate. Like I said before, my second life is mostly going to be limited to my Sunday resets and Sunday reset role play for now. And, um, I'll be doing some stuff. I have a whole let's play planned and I'm really, really, really excited for it. But for now, I'm gonna sleep on this air mattress because I'm tired. I've been up since 4 a.m. and I, I did all I could do <laughs> with my brain energy. But yeah, I'm going to um, get ready for bed. It was fun hanging out with you guys. I love you all. I hope you have a great rest of your day in your respective time zones. And I will catch you guys again next sunday we're gonna do a role play vlog for sunday reset and i think you guys are gonna like it it's, it's gonna be fun so yeah i'm glad i can share the tips i want to say have a good night to everyone hopefully i see you guys uh this coming week and this next weekend 